Hey, I get this goosebumps every time I see a limit like this. Oh, let me teach you, Trav. So I'm not really feeling this limit right now. If we try to plug in the five for X, we have to divide by zero. Okay, but like, what do I do? Because I can't factor or multiply by the conjugate. This limit and op for real. Okay, I'll show you, Trav. So right now there's nothing we can do. However, I want to teach you something called L'Hopital's rule. El Hospitals, what the heck is that? No, silly, it's L'Hopital. It's French. This states that if plugging in the x value to see what the function approaches yields zero over zero or infinity over infinity, we can take the derivative of both the top and the bottom functions and try to evaluate the limit again. Oh, so that applies here because if we plug five into the top, we get cosine of pi over 10 times five, which is cosine of pi over two or zero. And on the bottom, five minus five is also zero. So we have zero over zero. Exactly, Travis, you learn quick. So now let's take the derivative of the top and the bottom functions. The the derivative of the cosine of pi over 10x is pi over 10 times negative sine of pi over 10x, and the derivative of x minus 5 is just 1. So now we have the limit as x approaches 5 of negative pi over 10 times sine of pi over 10x. If we plug in 5, we get negative pi over 10 times sine of pi over 2. Sine of pi over 2 is 1, so our answer is negative pi over 10. Oh, that makes so much sense. Icy spicy. I imagine that we could keep this process going assuming we obtain zero over zero or infinity over infinity again after differentiating. Y'all should subscribe for sure.